In this video, we'll explore solving proportions by reasoning with multiplication and division. Now, if you think about the typical way we solve proportions by cross multiplication and dividing. So if I had a problem where I've got three gallons of gas to go 60 miles in my Highlander, how many miles can I go on nine gallons? I can set up my ratio using colons, but more commonly, we use the fractions and we use a variable. Then I cross multiply and I get 3x times equals 90 times 60, which is 540, and then divide both sides by 3 to see that my solution would be 180 miles. Now, I can also do comparisons. If I think about the fact that in that problem, my, two, my ratio is made up of two different quantities, I could also do a comparison of just that ratio. So, let's look at that. I know that for three gallons, I can go 60 miles. If I simplified that, I know that I could go 20 miles on a single gallon. That's how we get our MPG. What that tells me is that if I take 20 and multiply it by how many gallons I'm going to use, I can determine how many miles I'm going to go. So 9 gallons times the 20 would give me 180 miles. Now I can also look at like quantities across ratios and use that to help me find the solution. So the same problem, I know my first ratio, I had 3 gallons and 60 miles. My second ratio, I had 9 gallons, and I don't know the miles. Now what I want to say to myself is, how can I get from 3 to 9? And to do that, I multiply by 3. And if I look at that in the fraction form, I can see that across the numerators to get from one numerator to another, I multiply by 3. Well, that means I need to do the same to the denominator, or to the 60 and what I'm trying to find. 60 times 3 gives me 180. So if I looked at that in the fraction form, I multiply both the numerator and denominator by 3 to get 9 over 180, so I know that my mileage is 180 miles. Another method I could use is where I'm going to use equal parts to try to reason through the problem. So I have a salad dressing recipe that calls for oil and vinegar at a ratio of 3 to 5. So I want to know how much vinegar will I need for 12 tablespoons of oil. So since it's 3 to 5, I know that's 3 parts oil and 5 parts vinegar. So I can literally make them look like parts. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now I need to put it into my new ratio. I know that my 3 parts are now 12 tablespoons. But if I want to split them equally among 3, I'm going to divide it into 3 parts. And 12 divided by 3 tells me that each part is 4 tablespoons. Now, since my parts are all equal, that means all 5 of these have to be 4 tablespoons as well. And if I add them all together, or I could say 4 tablespoons times the 5 parts I have, gives me 20 tablespoons. So I would need 20 tablespoons of vinegar for 12 tablespoons of oil. Now another method when we don't have easy numbers we're working with is this notion of going through one. So let's look at the example to explain what this means. Cake recipe calls for three tablespoons of butter for every five ounces of vanilla. I only have four ounces of vanilla, so I want to know how much butter am I going to have to use instead. Now again, we can start with the chart. I know that at my first one, I've got three for butter and five for vanilla, but I, could, I gotta go down to four. Now one way I could do that is to go through one, and I'm gonna use the two quantities I know across the ratio. So what I can say is first, I wanna get down to one. How can I convert five into one? Well, I divide by five. And now how do I make one come up to four? I multiply by 4. And what I'm going to do is follow that same pattern to get to my question mark. I take 3 and divide by 5. That gives me 3 fifths. And now I'm going to take 3 fifths, multiply by 4, because that's what I did in my second part, and that gives me 12 fifths, which can be simplified as a mixed number as 2 and 2 fifths. So what I need then is 2 and 2 fifths tablespoons of butter.